I guess one of my main questions is when you were creating the the story and when the studio approached you, did you ultimately have to make any compromises or fight for any scenes or any characters? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think everyone involved was so respectful of the source material mm -hmm. that everyone was equally concerned with keeping it, you know, close to the books, but not so close that it kind of ruined the movie. Because I think if you replicate a book in a movie, first of all, it'd be like eight hours long. And <laughs> second of all, you just don't let it take on a life of its own. And you have to. You can't feel so constricted by the source material. So I think everyone was just concerned with making a good movie, but also making one that felt true to the book. So um, I felt like a lot of trust for the people who were working on it, and I didn't feel like I had to fight with them very much. Oh, go for it. Yeah, it was good. strangely, shockingly <laughs> positive experience. Yeah, but everyone involved seemed, seemed pretty happy. Nice, yeah. nice. And I understand you had a cameo in the film too. How was that? I did. That? Yeah. Oh my god, it was nerve-wracking. Yeah, I don't act like at all, yeah. and poorly, very poorly. No. So I felt like I was messing up every take, because they were like, okay, burst through this door and look excited. That's my part, is, you know, at the yeah. top of the zip line. So um, I tried really hard, but I just kept trying to run away from the camera, because I really didn't want to be on camera. Yeah. Which is funny, but I have a whole new respect for people who are movie extras, because there's a lot of standing around in uncomfortable costumes, very hot, you know, that kind of thing. So, and they do a good job, they're very, good-spirited, you know, our extras, so. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Well, oh, how is casting Kate Winslet? I, I didn't even believe it. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. I mean, who's, uh, Kate Winslet. <laughs> yeah, all I could write on my blog when I announced it was exclamation points. Yeah. I was just like, ah. Yeah, it's, uh, she did a great job. She did, like, brought the very subtle menace to that character. And I've never seen her uh, play a villain before, so yeah. it's very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for you, what are you most excited for audiences to get from the movie, both people who have read the series and people who haven't read the series? Well, I think for the people who have read the series, I mean, I think a lot of my readers are, uh, you know, very concerned with seeing the things that are on the page, and I think they'll be excited that they'll see so much of it. Uh, like the Ferris wheel scene is so true to the book. You know, that's the actual Ferris wheel that I imagine when I wrote it and it's there on screen they're actually climbing it like it's really amazing it's so, so much of it is so close um, because it's in Chicago you know there's nothing there's like very few fake sets it's all set you know in, in the actual city so yeah. that's really cool I think people who haven't read the books will appreciate that too because Chicago is not a movie or a movie a city that we're really used to seeing in movies um, you know some movies are shot there but they're not supposed to be set there so they don't use the landmarks mm -hmm. But in Divergent, the landmarks are very important. But mostly, I mean, I think the performances are also really good. So. Oh, good. And what inspired the premise? Well, um, I was a freshman in college. I was learning about exposure therapy in psychology class, which is a method of treating anxiety and phobias in which someone's repeatedly exposed to what scares them until they get kind of used to it, like they get over it. It's really weird, but um, very effective. So I thought it would be interesting to use that in a sci-fi way, you know, where a person's kind of wandering through the darkest parts of their mind and uh, these like creepy nightmare situations. I just really, I thought that would be really fun. So that's really where the nugget of the idea came from and it just kind of grew. Uh, out from there. <laughs>